Hi everyone, welcome back. I decided to do a slimline card today with a whole bunch of critters and I decided to put a whole bunch of hats on them. <laughs> so it makes it kind of Christmassy. And I'm using a lot of lawn fawn and a mix of lawn fawn and mama elephant stamps and dyes. Um, and it's mostly going to be an all, all die cut cards, uh, card today. So I have a seven by eight and a quarter, I believe. <laughs> um, could be eight and a half. <laughs> Can't remember off the top of my head. But basically a slim line card to fit the mama elephant. Um, I believe this is the woodland slim die. Um, and basically it cuts out the little hills. Um, it's got this lovely stitch detail around the outside. And it also cuts out the bits in the middle for like the opening of where the tree and the background would be. So you could do, I have another piece of slimline that fits behind it and do some ink blending for a background or if you've got some sort of background paper um, or pattern paper that you could use in the background. Um, that would look really nice as well, like a starry sky or something glittery or something like that. I've done that in a previous Christmas one this year, I'm pretty sure. So I, I did this back to front. I actually <laughs> was thinking I would ink blend and I'm not. I'm going to use some Copig markers here. Um, and I so I cut it out of some Bristol Smooth cardstock, which <laughs> is not made for <laughs> for Copic markers or alcohol markers, but it worked OK. Um, I think I was thinking I'd be putting some ink on this instead. But, you know, you change your mind as you go. <laughs> so... That's what I did. And I'm doing something a little bit different as well with the background. All those pieces that I've cut out, I'll show you in a bit, that I will actually be colouring them in to create like a, a sort of a backdrop of colour in the background, um, kind of like the sky. So with the two browns, I'm just ink blending very simply to get a bit of a blend so it looks like it's going from darkest at the bottom to lightest at the top for the trees. Um, and there's no leaves because it's winter, <laughs> so um, you could easily add some leaves. We've got leaf dyes that are in another set. Um, you could just add them to the top. You could even use a cloud border upside down um, and sort of put that along the top edge, kind of like tree coverings, like tree tops, if that makes sense. Um, but I, I like that it's a little wintry bare treed cold kind of thing going on so that's what I went with and again very easy blending although this marker is running out so <laughs> I think it's finally time that I actually get some refills for my coping markers because I've had these for a very very long time and I'm only now I've run out of my um, blender the, the colorless blender <laughs> finally gave up the other day but because Copics can be refilled. Um, that makes it a lot easier than having to buy a new pen. So that's why I like them as well. So these are my trees. And I could have done more with the bottom, to be fair, like this, the, um, I nearly said sand, the snowy bit um, and the little hills in the front. But to be honest, you're not going to see them. So in the end, you're not really going to see them at all. So I didn't bother with that. But these pieces that are going into the, that have cut out, what would be behind the trees i'm going through and i have to check which way up they are going to be in those like puzzle pieced back in because i want to add just a little touch of i think it's a bg10 i think i can't read <laughs> i can't read the screen um <laughs> but a very pale frosty kind of blue so that it just gives a hint of color um of sky colour in the background, that sort of icy blue kind of shading. But I had to make sure I knew which way up they were would be in in the die cut because I needed the colour to go <laughs> in the same direction. And I'm just flicking that colour on um, so that there's less of a line um, from the blue to the white. And these sort of go back into the their little spots really really easy it's super easy to get them back in there so I've got that part of the sky and then I'm going to do the same with this 
This is the piece that comes out the center. And it does die cut all these little holes. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to have this blue color on here and then have the white of the background of the cards showing through. So if you had a piece of glitter card stock in the background, you could easily have that shimmeriness coming through or you could add to all those little dots or those little holes afterwards. You could actually add um, like some glitter dots or glitter drops or something like that, or even just add some little, um, what do you call those things, little gemstones. That would be cool. <laughs> but again, it's more for a backdrop than anything else because you're not really going to see all that once we get all our critters on there. So, and I just used a bit of um, isopropyl alcohol to clean off the marker that I got on my mat because it's an alcohol marker. You kind of <laughs> need something that's going to clean up that way. But that's super cheap anyway. So now I'm going to stick this to the base of my card. And there is a little border around the outside. And I started off with some tape around the outside. And then, to be honest, and I think I've said this before, <laughs> I'll probably say it again. Just this little tiny, I'm so glad I got this. It wasn't expensive, these little bottles with this fine tip applicator. I've had fine tips before and they've really not worked and they've constantly blocked but so far so good the only thing that keeps this thing open is that pin in the top right and i've not had any problems touch wood um and also when it comes to making cards and like videos and that having either a tape runner which i don't always get on with <laughs> although i'm trying at the moment um or a wet adhesive like this it's just so much quicker um it's easy for you guys to watch <laughs> as well as opposed to watching me take ten thousand layers of tape off <laughs> um just yeah i just figure it's so much quicker and obviously being a wet adhesive it will bond much better um to the card or paper or whatever you're using so to get these pieces in i've stuck the background piece on and now i'm inlaying all these extra little um i guess die cuts that cut out or layers that cut out, uh, pieces that cut out and it just suddenly creates this nice little scenery but it's all one layer. It's completely flat. And that's what I also liked about this card. So there's not gonna be, there's a couple of things that might have a bit of dimension just because of what they are. And you'll see that at the end if you stick around for that. But the whole card is flat. There's no foam adhesive on this card at all. And yet it's still very, busy and very um, heavy I guess it's there's a lot of pieces on here so so I thought I'd, I'd do the uh, sentiments now so I've got the mama elephant um, yeti or not I believe stamp set and I've got the banners that I'm going to stamp there and then I will take there's another little banner it's got little stars in it Oh, before I do that, <laughs> big part. I'm going to stamp the word Merry, and there's two. There's Merry and Peace. So both those words are curved already so that you can just stamp them into that little banner, which I think is so genius. It just takes the hard work out <laughs> when you have things like that. And now I'm going to take the little one. It's got little, it's like a little banner of stars. It's very cute. So I thought we could make these into kind of like, um, like, what do they call them? Like fairy lights in the background. For all these little critters. I thought, why not? <laughs> and then just a bit of clean up. <laughs> I need to learn to not worry about things like this while I'm on camera. Because <laughs> you guys don't want to watch me clean stuff. Anyway. So I also decided to stamp the word Christmas from the same stamp set and I'm actually going to use the edge. I've done this thousands of times. Well, actually I've not done it thousands of times. I haven't done that many videos, but <laughs> I've done it a lot of times um, where you stamp the stamp or the sentiment, sorry, along the edge of a piece of cardstock and then you can actually use your paper trimmer to cut that out and get sort of a, a block of sentiment. And I like that sort of look. Um, it wasn't the original plan for this. <laughs> 
<laughs> and when I stamped it, I'm kind of glad I stamped it because in the end, the original plan, which you'll see in a bit, uh, it wouldn't fit. So <laughs> I'm glad I actually stamped that word out at the same time without even thinking about it. That was just a happy accident. Um, and so I also, um, getting back to these little banners, I coloured them in with some Copics, same Copics I had in my little stash there, there um, just in a couple of yellows and reds. And then I will cut out this Christmas sentiment as well. And I've die cut the other pieces, as you saw. And just very easy. I'm sorry, I'm out of the cam camera shop here, but very easy just to line it up and just let your paper trimmer do the work really. Um, you can just cut it out with a pair of scissors. If you've got large enough pair of scissors, it's quite easy to do that. Um, but I love using my trimmer for that. And then this is how I had an idea of where I was going to put the, um, the sentiments. And I needed to put those in place so that I could kind of work out where I was going to put all these creatures <laughs> because there's a lot of them. <laughs> well, there's five, but that's a lot um, on one card. <laughs> so to start with, with the um, with a lot of them, I, I was going to use some washi tape at the back or this sort of tape at the back of the, um, like where the ears and the eyes and the mouths are. But it just, I don't know. I was having issues when I was doing this bit. So I just decided actually, if they're going to get stuck flat, I can just use wet adhesive and just stick all the pieces in like an inlay and just stick them straight in there. Now, I also didn't recut them in different colors. So what I could, I could have done this two ways. One is I could have done it the way I'm going to show you where I've cut out, say, for example, the bunny or the whichever one, the bunny, the duck, I've cut them out. The mouth and the eyes are the same colour as the cardstock. I cut the main like part of the image, if that makes sense. So like the bunny is grey, but so is his eyes and his ears, the inner ears um, and his mouth. But what I decided to do was to colour them in um, as I went. And it actually worked out all right. Um, just one of the deer's eyes don't look quite right, but... <laughs> I just went with it. <laughs> I've done a lot of work on this. So um, so that's one thing you could have done. Another thing you could have done is just put a piece of black or dark brown cardstock behind the mouths and eyes. Um, and that would have then filled in those gaps. Or you could have also, I've got more than one answer here, obviously, <laughs> uh, more than two. Um, is you could have also die cut them again in a different color and then inlaid those different colors in. Um, or the other thing, especially for the eyes, is you could have, I could have used googly eyes. <laughs> and that would have been quite funny, actually. <laughs> so um, there's a few ways you can do that. I just decided that the, you know, I like that inlay sort of flat or flatter card. I'm having a thing about it at the moment. Um, so for me, this worked out really nicely. <clears throat> so just putting some extra adhesive in there. And then, for example, the ear, inner ears that came out of the um, deer on the right, I put into the deer on the left and vice versa. So with them, they were just different shades of brown. So I just mixed the browns, um, you know, between the two of them. And that kind of worked out okay. So for the little duck here, he's so cute. I am going to, I uh, don't know if I'm doing my, oh no, I'm going to put the bunny on first. <laughs> I also cut the bunnies, um, there's an extra die in that, I haven't even told you what these dies are. Um, they're the um, Lawn Fawn Tiny Gift Box dies and there's all these different little critters and I'm going to have to get more because I'm obsessed. But um, on the bunny, there's actually this extra little die that cuts like little arms, <laughs> I guess, in the front there. And I was going to stick something in there so it looks like he's holding something. You know, like maybe a carrot that's wrapped up in ribbon <laughs> or something. Um, totally forgot. And in the end, you'll see at the end what I actually put there and it looks like he's holding it. And I think it looks cute. So I was happy in the end. But... I totally forgot to <laughs> give him something to hold. 
So I'm a little OCD, so I had to get this somewhat lined up um, evenly. <laughs> so that's why I put the bunny in the middle um, and then the rest of them I'm just starting to build. Normally I'd build one at a time. I kind of jump all over the place here, so, so apologies about that. But you'll see as they come together, it just looks so cute. So the ducks and the... Uh, the duck and the chick, I put their little feet on in front of them. I just thought it was hysterical, so <laughs> I thought, why not? And then the duck has a separate bill. So that was easy. I just cut that out separately. But the chick has the inner piece that cuts out. So that gets inlaid for him or her. <laughs> And then for the eyes, I just took a brown Copic marker, one of the same ones I'd used earlier, and just very carefully coloured in the eyes themselves. I decided on brown because there's a lot of brown on here. Um, I don't know why, but black eyes on a <laughs> would look fine, but it just, I don't know. <laughs> I just thought the brown looked a little softer than sort of, because um, black eyes, I think, can look quite harsh sometimes. Um, but it depends what you're putting together like on here there's a lot of brown so it made sense um but other cards it would look really cool with with black eyes in there and now moving on to my little chick so the duck's basically done um and if you're not putting a winter hat on him <laughs> or a halloween hat because there's a little halloween hat that you can get for them as well um then he's done that's kind of how he would look um well for this in this um orientation because there's a few different ways you can put these guys together which is so cool so so cool so getting my little duck on no chick <laughs> and those little feet so funny so again just plonking them in front of him and i just thought it looked so sweet so just get that in there and then again, I'm doing little brown eyes for him. If I can hold on to those. Those pieces are tiny. So honestly, if if you don't do tiny pieces or can't do tiny pieces like that, I just about do them. <laughs> so, um, then by all means, just put a piece of cardstock behind it, like in a dark brown or a black, and it will look just as cute, honestly. Um, for his bill, his bill, beak maybe, <laughs> on a chick, um, I actually used the darker of the two yellows that I had of a Copic marker. It just made the yellow cardstock a little bit darker and it actually kind of matched the the colour of his feet, more or less. Um, the feet I actually did cut out in a different colour cardstock as opposed to colouring it in. So it actually worked out quite well. <laughs> so it's just to define his little beak, that's all. But that actually inlays into the card, um, which is quite sweet. So now I'm working on one of the deers, just getting his little antlers on. And then the the part of his face that makes the whole thing suddenly come to life, because <laughs> he's faceless. <laughs> well, they both were. <laughs> now, this one I could have easily left. I think I do. I can't remember. Let me look at the card. No, I actually infill the eyes. I could have left the eyes as they are. Um, because the holes for what would be the eyes is cut out of that slightly um, paler brown piece that I've just stuck on. So it, I could have left that as just that, you know, his eyes as they were. But I decided that I wanted them all to be the same and my OCD kicked in a bit. So <laughs> I had to inlay the eyes in there, um, even though they were the same colour essentially. <laughs> so, um, but it's fine. You'll see what I do right at the end to just define those eyes a bit more. And then sort of jumping to the other one. And uh, yeah, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but this is the rest of them all put together. And now I'm going to start putting their little hats on. So on the bunny, just sort of talking about the bunny, I coloured the eyes brown again. And the nose and the inner ears, I actually used a, I think it's R20 or 22 which is just like a, it's part of the reds in Copic world, 
but it's like a, a pinky red um, and it actually worked really nicely over the grey cardstock so that worked out really nicely. Um, and then you'll see the, the little deer on the right where I'm working on his hat now. You'll see his eyes. I coloured them in, but <laughs> they didn't look right in the colour they were. So I coloured them in with the marker again. And now you kind of can't see them. So like I say, I will define them a bit more in a bit. And then I just cut out a variety of ha uh, hats. Uh, I was thinking that I would have sort of like the three Santa hats and then the two um, like bobble hats, what I would call a bobble hat, <laughs> um, sort of alternating. But because I had different colour Santa hats, I just, it looked better. I think the bunny looks better with this little bobble hat as opposed to a Santa hat. But that's just a, a you know, personal opinion. <laughs> it's not, doesn't mean he doesn't look cute with the, with the other one. And so I just decided where I wanted to put them and then just added them on and got them um, you know, stuck together. <laughs> so they all have their little hats on. <laughs> They're so cute. I love the Orphan. <laughs> I love their stuff. I'm obsessed. In case you guys didn't notice. <laughs> right, so all the hats are on. Now I need to work on that sentiment. So I decided to get the um, the star, what I'm calling the, the little star twinkle lights. That's what we're calling them. <laughs> I decided to put those on first and then I could kind of centralize the Mary uh, a bit better. Uh, turns out I didn't do that. So <laughs> but it doesn't matter. We're going to cover it. The, the sort of where it, where the where the ends meet we'll sort that out in a bit anyway but i just wanted to sort of get that somewhat centralized like so and i think it looks so sweet i just love it so i was going to use and this is why i'm glad i cut the the word christmas out but i had xmas um cut out and I was going to use that, that it was going to say Merry Xmas and I know it's not the real Christmas word but <laughs> I thought it would look quite sweet with all these little creatures and it like the letters would be not too big but in the end it, there just wasn't any space so <laughs> I decided to leave that off so I was really glad that I actually without thinking stamped and cut out this little Christmas word um, and that I'm going to just tuck underneath there just like that. And that marker that I used around the edge to define the outside of the um, of the little sentiment banner is the same red that I used for like the ears of the bunny and the nose. So just using what I had next to me, I didn't, you know, specifically go and find extra colors or anything. I just grabbed a few colors and actually you'll find in the next video or two, um, I actually use those same markers with maybe the addition of one or two I just kept them out and used the same ones so you don't have to have a billion different colors and markers and things although I kind of feel like I have to <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm obsessed anyway that's a different story so I have Lucy's little things um, from Lucy's cards and these are little clay hearts and I was gonna try and see if I could get one of the teeny tiny ones um, to see whether they would work, not necessarily in this colour, but just to see for size if they would work um, in between the banners. Um, and in the end, I, I will go with the red ones because it just made the most sense colour-wise. It's not quite the same red, but I figure it's Christmas and you get different shades of red anyway, and they look good together, so why not? <laughs> and then this is where I decided to actually give the bunny a a little hard to hold because I suddenly realised that I hadn't actually given him anything to hold even though I'd cut the his little arms out. <laughs> so, so these are obviously a little bit bulkier. Um, so this is the only dimension really that's on this card but I still feel like this card has dimension. Um, so it, it just it worked out really well and I think using a wet adhesive that means that they will stick quite well to the piece of you know to those little ends 
um, and they should just stay where they're supposed to, <laughs> hopefully. So one of the last things I'm going to do is take a like a shimmer pen. I've got an aqua, aqua. I can never remember the name of these things. I've got one of the Niveau ones and I've got one of the Spectrum Noir ones from Crawford's Companion. And I switched to the Spectrum Noir. I think I just need new pens. <laughs> so, but anything with a bit of bling on it, I sort of figured the the white areas. I did put some on the little hearts. Honestly, I don't know that it, it I didn't know if it was going to work because it's, you know, different materials, not a, a card as such. And then I added some to the stars. If you've got something like a glitter gel that is, um, or a glitter glue, so like a Stickles or a Nouveau, and it's got like sparkly stuff in it, and it's a clear one, then use that. That would work really well as well. So, or like the frosted, uh, what's it called? Picket fence, I think, distress, which is like a white version that could work really well on the hats as well. Um, or you could use puffy paint, that could work too. See, so many ideas, but when I'm in the middle of it, I never think of them. So <laughs> and then I took a white gel pen, this is just a Sakura gel pen, and I just added some highlights. I don't normally do this because I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to this, but I just added a line and a dot <laughs> every so often and this is also where I will highlight um, the eyes and make them a little more defined because on like I say on most of these it's absolutely fine the eyes are fine but the <laughs> that poor deer on the right <laughs> is just not <laughs> like you don't even know he's got eyes <laughs> so this is where I just thought a little dot there made a bit of sense um, and actually when I did them I did it on all of them and it looks quite sweet i also think the top of noses it works really nicely so that's it guys yes it's a long-winded it probably took me the best part of an hour once i had die cut everything but it's just such a cool card um you know maybe not one to mass produce but it's it's a cute card and i really like how all the little critters are just hanging out together <laughs> like they do so I hope you've enjoyed this guys and um, have a very Merry Christmas, New Year, festivities, whatever you celebrate and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye for now.